Yeah, you look at that. I would not want to be driving up there, Joseph. And uh, a lot of drivers are finding out the hard way when they get up to some of those mountain passes and areas. What a mess. Yes, totally. Yeah, just driving in the mountains in general can be tough, but then you factor in two feet of snowfall, ice, and conditions are just very treacherous to be uh, doing some traveling there. So it is open to get up to government camp. You're going to have to go up there and use a lot of attention and just go a lot slower. We still have some warnings out there. A couple winter weather alerts to talk about. Winter storm warning in pink and the winter weather advisory there in purple. That does include areas of the coast range, the northern coast range, and then there's that winter weather advisory. And through the blues and the Wallawas over there onto the east side of the state, we're still dealing with some snowfall and some issues there. Most of these should be wrapping up for tonight or early tomorrow morning, but I expect another round of winter alerts by the time we head into Wednesday because of more moisture and more snowfall and possibly Possibilities for maybe even some ice in the Columbia River Gorge as we head into Wednesday night into Thursday. That was the view up at Mount Hood Meadows. You can see the Timberline Lodge behind me there just hunkered in underneath the snowfall and those massive icicles over a foot of snow. In fact, two feet of snow over the last 24 hours. Meadows even more than that. Same with Ski Bowl and Bachelor. So just an abundance of snowfall up there on the mountain over the last 24 hours and 48 hours, really boosting those snow totals up there. Okay, so we do have some rain moving on through and some light snowfall. We have a weak disturbance right here that's developing that's going to be pushing on in as we go through the day. It's also going to sweep a warm front in. That's going to keep us on the warmer side. But we're watching the atmospheric river developing just to the southwest. That's going to produce more moisture. It's going to at least transport more moisture to us. Uh, kind of like a conveyor belt by the time we head into Wednesday and into Thursday, especially the late hours of Wednesday. I do want to tell you about the coastal flood advisory that's in place till 3 p.m. today, extending up to the mouth of the Columbia uh, River there, extending down to the south, uh, mainly because of tidal overflow, uh, possibility for some minor flooding. I zoomed on in, you can see kind of the waves and everything kind of crashing in and seaside in the distance there at 43 degrees. Okay, I mentioned that atmospheric river kind of developing down to the southwest over the Pacific. Watch what happens as we head into our Wednesday. It's just going to kind of catapult this moisture in our direction in the Pacific Northwest, kind of dragging through until about Thursday night there. So it's going to be that period of time. Wednesday night into about Thursday mid afternoon when we are probably going to see some decent rain around here. Uh, that could also mean some more snowfall for the mountains, but it's going to get kind of warm. And I think the combination of some melting snowfall and the heavy rain could lead to some flooding problems or maybe at least some of the rivers having some issues. All right, here's the time frame as we head into Wednesday and Thursday morning. Notice that we have about an inch, maybe about an inch and a half. By the time we head into Friday, it's pushing us over about two inches. The heaviest of the rain is definitely going to be right around this section here, southwest Washington, extending to the coast. At this point in time, it looks like that's the target of that atmospheric river, and everyone to the south will kind of clip that. Futurecast will show the rain today. You can see definitely to the south, Marion County to the south. We'll clip the edge of that, and we have the snowfall for the mountains there. By the time we head into Wednesday morning, it's broken. It's not as wet. We kind of have a deficiency of moisture at that point in time. We're lacking a little bit but we'll get the reinforcement as we head to Wednesday night and into Thursday. This is when we start seeing the front edge of that atmospheric river. Very heavy rain. Notice the snowfall practically not there at that point. We'll see snow levels jump to at least 6,000 feet, so we'll probably have the snow melt going on, areas like government camp. It's going to be tough, though, but the transition Wednesday night into Thursday morning with all the cold air kind of stuck to the surface there in the gorge, we may start to see that freezing rain, and that could lead to some icy road conditions, and, of course, we'll have updates Definitely over the next day. All right, here's Thursday night. We still have heavy rain. That's why we're concerned about flooding. And by the time we head into Friday, it does dry up a little bit. Uh, but we're still expecting to see some pretty wet conditions on Friday. And that uh, may also lead to just kind of residual issues from all the rain and the, the ground just kind of becoming weak. All right, here's Saturday. We dry up. I'm hoping for a dry weekend because it's been so long and we may even get some sunshine by the time we head into Saturday. All right, here's the seven day forecast. I have us in the 40s today as well as tomorrow. We're warming up to the 50s. When we see those temperatures jump into the 50s, you know that atmospheric river is coming because it's bringing warmer air, which is carrying more moisture. Thursday and Friday, you can see right there in the 50s. Before we cool down slightly heading into Saturday and Sunday, this is kind of where we should be in the 40s. But Jenny, I'm really hoping for some dry time this weekend after all that rain we're expected to see. I know our yard is looking kind of gross. So I've been like, yeah. well, I can't get out there because it's all wet and muddy. Maybe this weekend. This week that. Hey, boy, <laughs> what a fun weekend in store. All Everybody, right. Yeah. We'll be right back with more news and weather.